Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel on this wet, wet Sunday afternoon. Um, it is two o'clock, hmm, that's a good time. Yeah, just before two actually. And you're looking at, this is my version of Journey, a work in progress, please keep that in mind. But the painting is done um, and I'm very happy with it. I've added all sorts of details to this baby because when I saw the umbilical cord and how long it was, it made me think this is a brand new baby. So this baby has got lots of extra features that I wouldn't put on a baby who's sort of a week or two old or three weeks old or even, you know, older than that because they change so quickly, don't they? So this baby has got lots of extra things. You may be able to see on the, which leg is that? On the left leg, there's some vernix in the ankle crease that the nurse hasn't wiped off yet. And also on the little, on the right foot, on the heel where the heel prick is, there's a bit of bruising that's happened. I think the nurse was a wee bit rough. Can't see that at the moment. But what I'll do is I'll take some separate photos and if I can't work out how to attach them to the video, I'll make the, I'll put them into a separate video. Um, so if you don't see them on the end of this, then just go down to my next video. It will be there. So this is Journey, a limited edition sold out kit. Because this is, um, what do you call it? Edition number one. I've had this kit for a long time. And um, it's by Laura Lee Eagles. I don't have the certificate right here with me, of course. I forgot to bring it. Um, anyway, so that's a couple of extra things that this baby's got. This baby's also got very fine hairs on either side of of his or her face. I haven't worked out if it's a girl or a boy. Um, I guess that will come with the hair. I'll probably sort it out then. But um, what else can I tell you about this baby? Beautiful texture. I love the texture I've got on this doll. It always comes down to the type of vinyl really because I do the same sort of method but you know it just varies depending on the, the composition of the original vinyl and mostly I've had success so um, this one's gorgeous. This baby has now a magnet. Let me just show you. A magnet in this body plate. Because this is a full body plate that goes all the way around the baby, around the back. I've, I'll take some photos of that too. It goes all the way around the back there. And there's, it's open at the bottom where the legs fit in. Inside there will be a, a cloth body and the arms and legs will attach to the cloth body and then this sits over the top. So let me just show you this um, umbilical cord stump that just comes off. Can you see? There's a very neat um, navel there. So you, if you don't want to use the stump, which is exceedingly long, which is why I call it the worm, it's very long. Normally baby stumps are much shorter. But perhaps this was like a an interim cut before they cut the next one. And then there's a magnet on the inside there and there's a magnet at the end of the stump. So it just absolutely just easily sticks on strong. Got a strong strong magnet on the inside and in the stump. Um, now, what else would you like to know about this gorgeous baby? Very delicate eyebrows. Don't know if you can tell from there, but I, in the photos that I put, that I'll put up, you'll be able to see the eyebrows. There's a little pimple on the side of the nose, but you can't see that in this shot. I think it's just all too far away for that kind of detail, but it's just there. And um, what else can I tell you? You know, the, the skin is splotchy. There's still some red patches on the eyelid there. I nearly said eyebrow, but I mean eyelid. Um, you know, when babies are born, that kind of pressure that builds up as they're coming out can put those red splotches on them so this baby has one there and the cheeks are a bit splotchy too this baby was born quite long nails as you know a lot of Laurel eagles babies have sort of the nails that extend past the hand past the end of the fingers not past the hand past the end of the fingers um so i think you'd be able to see that maybe but i'll show photographs as well so you can get a good idea of all the details. Um, still, this baby's still bald, poor little thing, but see, he or she will grow some hair, I promise. That's the next phase. So no eyelashes yet, no gloss yet. Um, but other than that, the you know, all the, the body and paint work is all done. I'm very happy with this baby. Absolutely love it. To me, this just looks like a real newborn, absolutely like a newborn. Of course, the color's not exactly right. Um, the, 
baby looks kind of what? Not as pink, perhaps, or not as skin colour in what you're seeing or what I can, can see in the monitor here on my phone. Um, looks kind of a bit more bluish that on this um, in the video. And I put this hospital hat on in stripy pink, white and blue because I just don't know if this baby's a boy or a girl. It could easily be either, couldn't it, really? Such a sweet thing. Love this baby. Um, there is a dummy that I've made for him or her, and it doesn't need a magnet, which is really exciting. It's just modified and just goes right into the mouth perfectly. There we go. So sweet. So I love that feature. I love that you don't have to have a magnet. It's fun, although there is a magnet down here. Um, just to hold that on but um, you know you won't be using that when you're dressing the baby because this will get in the way because it's not soft you know it's it's um well, it's a bit soft but it wouldn't tuck under clothes very well there's the magnet in the end I wanted to cover that with um, a piece of felt but that there's a little ridge there that fits so neatly over the over the belly, belly button that I didn't want to add anything else so it wouldn't fit so neatly um, so this is a non-gendered tummy plate, or body plate I should call it, because it does go all the way around. Um, so it's non-gendered, so really you can have this baby whatever you want. And the legs come out from the bottom, they don't go into a circle like the arms do. So that will make the baby more cuddly when, even when the body plate is on, because the legs are free. They will just attach to the cloth body without fine or around them. Um, and. I don't know the length. I haven't checked what the length of this baby will be when it's finished. It always depends on the body, but I got a body with the kit, so it's probably maybe like a true newborn size, maybe like a 19 inch. So it would fit beautifully into newborn clothes. So I've taken already taken a few photos before the video. I'll take some more afterwards, and I hope I can work out how to do it. Um, I've got a new computer, which is... Scary and exciting all at the same time. <laughs> it's not fully set up yet, um, but soon it will be. And um, so I'll have a go and see what I can do with this video on the new computer. Oh, it's all a bit, you know, yucky. Plus the other problem is that my internet drops out all the time. Like it maybe works for half an hour and then it drops out. It's really driving me mental. I um, contacted the, what do you call them, you know, the provider the person I pay the bills to, to have my internet service. And I, they started to do the back and forth thing in text, which is so irritating. You know, you wait and then they send back a thing that says, well, do you mean this or do you mean that? Have you got this and have you got that? So I didn't want to get into all of that. I just said it keeps dropping out all the time. It's been doing it for months and months. It's getting worse now. Please fix it. And I wasn't in a good mood when I wrote it. I was still polite, but grumpy and polite. Mm, anyway, so everything's a bit of a challenge at the moment, but I just, I absolutely love this, this baby, completely, completely love it, it's the sweetest thing, I love that, I love the newborn scrunched face, and it, you know, it's puffy and creasy and just gorgeous, it's just so sweet, the head shape is beautiful too, um, under the little hat, the hospital hat, so you know this is a newborn baby wearing his, he or she is wearing the hospital hat. So I've shown you without, without the gorgeous worm, which I had a ton of fun painting. I mean, I put so many layers of paint on trying to achieve the right look because it's quite tricky to get it looking right. Um, now, do you want me to take the nappy off so you can see actually what's underneath? Maybe I'll do that so you can actually see the body plate. It's just an optical illusion that I've covered it all up with the nappy. Well, let's take it off. There we are. Let me just pull it all out completely so you don't have to look at that. So that's the tummy plate. You see that? It just ends. That looks a bit spooky, doesn't it? It just ends like that. There's a nice little tummy crease here. And then the, the um, cloth body will come out from under there and then the legs will just fit into the cloth body like so 
It does look funny, doesn't it? So the actual baby's length doesn't stop there. Oh, now we're losing arms. That's not, not a good look, darling. Um, so, yeah, the, the, I assume the body will come down a bit further because that's quite short like that. It would come down further and then the legs will go in there. So there you go. That's, that's my beautiful journey from top to no bottom really i was going to say from top to bottom but there actually isn't a bottom at the moment so i hope you've enjoyed seeing my little journey i um i still need to show you my lottie wearing one of her new uh, body suits and i've also been preparing my bottle collection to show you it's been ages since i've done a, a bottle you know a video of my bottled collection it's it's vast and it's really cool it's mostly uh, glass bottles but I do have a few plastic ones that I, re I did like mostly because they're small because um, I love tiny bottles so I try to get them in glass I much prefer glass but I have one or two that aren't glass that I'd love to show you the whole collection but that's for another time coming up very soon and I'll get started on this little one's hair and um, I'm looking forward to that. So I can't wait to see what, what this baby looks like with hair. So cute. Can you see there's the vernix there? It doesn't come off. It's there. But if you don't like it, you can just, you know, cover it, put a little pair of socks on. Or if you get sick of looking at it but love it, you can cover it with a booty or socks or something. So I don't like to put too many um, features that are obvious you know, like I, I wouldn't put vernix all over the place because you know, at some point you won't you won't want to see it everywhere. You'll you'll just want to see the baby all wiped and fresh looking. That looks pretty cute like that. You almost can't tell, can you? Let's just put that leg there. Oh, this is fun. Oh, there's still a bit of a gap. I wonder if we can move the fluff up a bit. How'd that go? Almost. What do you think of that? That's pretty good. Except that. Everything looks different through the camera. To the naked eye, you almost don't notice that gap there. Let's move. But on the camera, there we go. Almost disguised. Anyway, I'll stop playing because that's all I'm doing. I'm playing with this doll because I absolutely love it. And the leg is coming from a very strange place. Look, it's miles away from the body. Sorry, darling, I won't do that to you anymore. We'll just do that. How's that? Pretty cute. All right, everyone. Um... I don't think I have any other news in particular. No, I don't. I've told you about a couple of videos that I'll be making very soon. And I'll be starting on this little one. Probably not today. I've still got a lot of things to do this afternoon. But um, tomorrow's another day, isn't it? I always say that, but it is. So anything you don't get done today, we'll be there waiting for you tomorrow. So I hope that everything's okay where you guys are. Um, it's kind of in flux here in Sydney. It, it could go either way. Our COVID-19 virus could disappear or it could ramp up. Who knows? Um, yeah, just, you know, because you're always a few days behind, aren't we? We're, you know, by the time you know there's a few cases, those people have already been walking around for a few days not knowing that they're infectious. So we're always chasing our tails a bit. But um, poor Melbourne's doing it really, really tough. They, um, you know, they have a fair bit of it there and that's been um, multiplying quickly or spreading quickly, I should say. It's not multiplying, it's spreading. Um, so hopefully, I mean, that's why it could go either way here. I'm still basically staying inside, which of course suits me because I get to, you know, get to spend time doing my favourite thing, which is making these babies. I absolutely love it. Completely love it. I'll um, probably put some photo, maybe the same photos that I've just taken and will take up on my Instagram on Baby Bunting Nursery. So if you want to go and check my Instagram, please go over there. It won't be there right now because I'm only just making this video, but in a little while, give me a bit of time. So there you are. There's my beautiful journey. I hope you've liked seeing journey. And why don't you tell me what you see, if you see boy or girl, let me know. And that might help me to figure it out although it usually becomes clear with the hair doesn't it although a brand new baby you ne wouldn't necessarily be able to tell from the hair because of course my plan is not to have too much hair I like um you know I like them to look really newborn anyway just let me know what you think because you guys might have a clearer idea than I do 
I spent a lot of hours with this baby. Very happy hours, let me tell you. I've really enjoyed doing doing the paint work on. And, you know, the, using my imagination and building up the colours because it's a quite a colourful baby. Oh, your, your leg doesn't attach to your body, my darling. There we go, that looks okay. But then we can see that gap. All right, I'll stop now. I promise I'll stop. And um, thank you all. Take care. Please be careful wherever you're living. Keep your masks on if that's required. And just keep away, you know. Try and keep a good distance from people. Especially if you're inside, then you must wear a mask if you're inside. If you're outside, it's not as bad. You know, the, the, the virus can just phew, disappear out into the air. So thank you everyone so much for being here with me. I really, really appreciate it. And I love showing this baby to you. And don't forget to let me know what you think, boy or girl. And Journey and I say goodbye. So wave goodbye, darling. That's a good baby. Bye, everyone. See you soon. I'll have hair next time you see me. And eyelashes. Good baby. See, such a well-behaved baby. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Take care.